Joining me in the studio now is Dr. James Steinberg, an orthopaedic surgeon with a special interest in reconstructive surgery of the knee, including joint replacement surgery. He comes to us from the Mid-Maryland Musculoskeletal Institute in Frederick, Maryland. I asked him to tell us what a joint should normally look like before it's destroyed by inflammation. Uh, on the inside of the knee, per se, or even any joint, uh, you have smooth, what I call pearly white cartilage. Um, and basically, what would be a healthy joint would have ligaments associated with it that also are disease-free. They're not inflamed or have what we refer to as synovitis inside of a joint. And then what does a joint with osteoarthritis look like? How is it different? In a joint that has disease state with arthritis, you'll see fissuring and cracking in the cartilage. It's not smooth and pearly white once it, as it once was. It looks more like the surface of a moon if it's more advanced where you have craters. Um, and that cartilage deteriorates, you'll have bone that basically is polished. It's, like, it's basically marble and often I'll refer to it as uh, two pieces of sandpaper rubbing together with my patients. So if we were to look at one of these models then these are models of an arthritic joint, so you're getting down to bone. The cartilage is worn away, is that right? That's correct. Basically, you can refer to the cartilage on the ends of our bones, similar like Teflon coating on a frying pan. When that wears away, there's no protection left, and you have a, a state where it's basically bone on bone, and that becomes very painful for patients. The body essentially is trying to wall off the joint or fuse the joint, and that's what causes a lot of pain, loss of motion, and ultimately loss of function. Mm. Sounds painful when you think about bone on bone instead of that nice uh, smooth. Certain, smooth certainly surface. is. So what are the triggers or the risk factors for arthritis, osteoarthritis in particular? Um, probably the biggest one that I'll see in this country and in this area is obesity. Um, genetics certainly play a role. Um, you know, someone's lifestyle, if they've had previous trauma, um, those are probably the largest risk factors. So for every pound we gain, we actually put an extra three or four pounds of pressure through our knees. And in addition, the fat laid down around the body is also deposited around the joint, which induces inflammation, cell death, and oxidative damage. So more fat mass, more osteoarthritis. So does losing weight help? Oh, it certainly does. Not just for the health of that joint, but for someone's overall well-being. Um, I'm constantly counseling patients on, on weight reduction, uh, low-impact exercise. 